here. So close below. Nice. All right, Chagon sells here as the five minute close below the range. Very similar to yesterday's trade. Uh, five minute candle should be good to drive down towards the bottom of the range. I believe our stops are going to be up here at these ranges here because if you break the highs, then you're gone probably. Um, but looking at price, you should have enough room to drive down towards 1966 minimum. So that's the idea behind the trade, right? Mantra was basically not the breakout lows, but near the breakout lows. But yeah, the idea would have been just to break out lows in the five closures, right? As you broke back into the range, um, you have range coming down towards the next support now. So I'm looking at this to the left as well, right? I'm looking at this candle here to the left, the structure point where looking left, you broke back into the range. You came down to fill it, right? So I'll say like around here, you should be good to drive down towards and spike down towards 64267. That should be your TP. You break below 1965, it should be a pretty straight push. But the, once you tap 65, anyways, you break even, right? I think you're sitting like then 15 pips in profit, something like that. I'm going to put my TP here, 1964.517. It should spike through, honestly. I don't see why I wouldn't just spike straight through towards a TP point. It's a pretty decent TP. Like, if you put TP down at 62, it might hover around 66 areas, but would you rather want to just um, get out before you range or get to just, just get the spike down, get the perfect exit, and then wait for another opportunity later on anyways, right? It's up to you. You can attempt runners if you want to, right? But I got TP down at 64. I believe it should just spike straight through, especially if you break below 65. Very straightforward. What are we sitting in? Can we break the lows again? Once we break the lows here, chat, I'm going to move stops to break even, all right? I believe anything below 65 should be good straight down towards TP, but the, the hard part is getting there first, right? I think it came maybe like 10 pips away, but once you break this low, we'll be risk free. Or you can move stops to the current kind of high if you want, but I'll be risk free in the trade. And then we'll see what happens then. Yeah, because the breakout lows will take you down towards 66.029, which is the support you have here, right? So that's the minimum requirement on price here. I see a f here, chat. Not break even just yet, still in it. Let me just put my stop here just in case, because yeah, I do. 678.57, great. Up here it goes. You're gonna see a foot tier chat. Did you break it? Oh no, almost, almost. Okay, maybe two pips away. You do have a 15 closure here in about uh, eight minutes here, but I would assume we'll be breaking beforehand. I wouldn't think we would not. Can you break the lows here? All right, cool chat. So this is now a risk free trade. Uh, moving stops break even. I'm not going to close anything here. I'm going to see if we can just hit rock towards TP or I may close. Maybe if you come down and tap like near it, but I believe once you break the lows, did you break the lows there? Man, it just has to break, right? Or it did break, yeah. So I believe once you break the lows, you should see a spike down towards like 65.520 here. And that should give you a strong drive. I don't see why not, because anything below there is clean traffic, right? So if you break the lows now, you have to come down and break these lows to the left, which is like maybe two pips away. And then that breakout low should give you down towards 65 point whatever, 240. And then that eventually should take you down towards TP, but. All right, there it is, cool. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and probably close off my positions here, chat. All right. All righty. I think we did what there. But that 15, yeah, that, that five had no bottom wick. I didn't realize the five had no bottom wick too well. But yeah, I closed off there in 15 percent profit. That's it for me today, chat. Or not, not my bad. I take that back, okay? Not, not, that's not it for me today, but that is it for me for the trade. All right. So yeah, that was it. We close off. Wow, I didn't realize if I had no bottom work. I should I should have I would have closed off off rip, but that's fine. Um that was like 15 pips for us. Which does extend the streak to 30 tr straight trades on stream with massive W's.